July 16, 1945. This is the darkness of a desert morning. And here in New Mexico, a group of men wait tensely, expectantly. Behind them, three unbroken years of work. Work done in unprecedented secrecy. recorded from six miles away, these views of the most concentrated release of explosive energy in the history of mankind. From the time of that first explosion until Hiroshima shuddered beneath the release of atomic energy, work on the bomb went steadily forward in closely guarded plants in New Mexico, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington. For over a hundred years, the city of Hiroshima had garrisoned some of the Japanese Empire's finest troops. The city had never been subjected to actual bombing, but had been warned repeatedly. Now it's army headquarters, barracks, ordnance, and quartermaster depots, factories, mills, and shipyards were to feel the weight of the atom's destructive power. 21 days after the New Mexico experiment, a B-29 was over Hiroshima carrying an atomic bomb. At 8.15 in the morning of August 6th, Japanese time, the first atomic bomb struck an enemy target. This is zero point on Hiroshima, the exact spot above the city at which the bomb burst over enemy territory at the junction of the Matoyusu and Oto rivers. The atomic bomb was intentionally exploded well above its target in order to dissipate its radioactive material. The devastation you see here was caused by the explosion of the bomb above this zero point. Only the strongest buildings are left standing and they are gutted. Looking north from zero point, this is what was left. Looking east, the camera records a scene of complete devastation in the immediate area. To the south, these are the ruins. Looking west from zero point, the same complete leveling is evident the same inability of structures to withstand atomic power. Just a tenth of a mile from zero point, the effect of the bomb blast can be seen on these stripped and broken trees and on this Russian-Japanese war memorial. Lines were literally blasted into the stone of the memorial. Here, looking west from the Sanwa building, the side of a concrete smokestack nearest the blast has been discolored. The Hiroshima Gas Company building on the right in this picture has been almost completely demolished by the force of the explosion from above, as though struck by a giant sledgehammer. The reinforced concrete Sanwa Bank building was wrecked even more completely. 
These twisted steel beams once supported the roof. The direction of the bomb blast can be seen clearly in these scenes of the concrete parapet wall extending above the bank building's roof. Two-tenths of a mile from zero point was a Shinto shrine. Here, too, the blast stripped the trees and collapsed stonework. Originally, the base of this statue was polished granite, but now the stone is roughened by the force of the blast, which completely removed the polish. The lighter surfaces, which are being pointed out, indicate the angle of the bomb blast as though painted on the surface. The nearby lamppost shows flash burns on the side facing the blast. The commercial museum was also within two-tenths of a mile of zero point, and the garden wall facing the blast was bent inward by the push of the explosion. The downward force of the blast caused the failure of the concrete beams which supported this roof, and the roof itself has settled so much that it now acts as a reservoir. Looking east, an area of complete devastation is all that can be seen. The railing was blown off this bridge, and the steel poles on the bridge show the effects of the atomic bomb blast, which hurled grit with such force as to etch the steel. The front of this school is a quarter of a mile from and faces zero point. The sag in the concrete reinforced floor can be seen here in the entrance. The steel rods, which are now hanging, once supported a suspended ceiling. This reinforced concrete building was knocked sidewise, causing the lower story to collapse. This barren area, three-tenths of a mile from zero point, once contained the main Japanese military headquarters. The barracks were utterly destroyed. Most of the military personnel of approximately 20,000 were wiped out. The distorted steel framework is all that remains of a building which stood four-tenths of a mile from zero point. Whereas this reinforced concrete building of the Chikogi Electric Company, one half mile from zero point, withstood the blast much better.